I love helping students get comfortable with topics that tend to give students anxiety. And over my years of teaching, square roots have proved to be one of those topics. So let's go make it more comfortable. First problem asks us to simplify the square root of three over five. So you might look at that and say, well, what do you mean it is simplified? Three is a prime, five is a prime, what else can I do? Here's what you can do. You can remember that you are not allowed to have a square root in the bottom of a fraction. And the square root of three divided by five is really the square root of three divided by the square root of five. And that's the part that needs to be further simplified. So our question becomes, how do we get rid of a square root in the bottom of a fraction? Here's how, multiply it by itself, right? Root five times root five is root 25 or just five. But if we multiply just by root five on the bottom of a fraction, we have changed the value of the fraction. So we need to multiply the top and the bottom by root five, because after all, what is root five divided by root five? It's just one. And what is anything times one? It's itself. We haven't changed the value, just the form. Okay. So when we multiply with a fraction, we multiply straight across the numerator and straight across the denominator. So that gives us root three times root five on the numerator, root five times root five on the denominator. This is the whole reason we did this. Root five times root five is just five and root three times root five. Well, the same way we could take things under a big square root and write them as two separate square roots, we can take two things multiplied under the same power of root, a square root, and make it two things multiplied under one large square root, leaving us with our final answer as the square root of 15 over five is the simplification of the square root of three over five. Let's do another one. Okay, six times the square root of 32 divided by four times the square root of 75, where to start? 32 and 75 don't really share any common factors. So putting those all under one big square root is not gonna help us. So instead, I'm gonna start to break them down underneath their square root signs. And so that would look like this. 32 factors into two times two times two times two times two, and 75 factors into five times five times three. So now I can start to simplify what's under the square root. The square root of two times two is just two. So I cross off two on the inside and bring one of those twos to the outside. Same thing, square root of two times two, I do it again. Cross off two on the inside and bring one two to the outside. Down here, the square root of five times five is just five. And now let me put together my tops and my bottoms and see where I am. 24 root two over 20 root three. The first thing I see is I cancel a four out of top and bottom, and that leaves me with six on the top and five on the bottom. And my last step is I've got that root three on the bottom I need to get rid of. Everybody remember how? That's correct. Multiply top and bottom by root three. And so then that equals six root six over five times three. And I see I could cancel a three out of top and bottom. So my final simplification is two root six over five. All right, one more root 150 over root six. All right, I could start by multiplying top and bottom by root six, but I notice that six is made up of the two and three. And I know that 150 also has a factor of two and three in it. So instead, I'm gonna start by putting these all under one large square root sign. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cancel or divide. 150 divided by six is 25. And the square root of 25 is five. Now I would have gotten there if I started by multiplying top and bottom by root six, but noticing that these had common factors let me get there much faster. Okay, go back, do these problems again on your own, then check and see if your answers match my answers. Take a look at some of these other videos on working with roots. Put in the comments any topic you would like me to tackle. Consider subscribing to my channel so you know when I put out a new video. And as always, keep on mathing.